everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains uh, in this video we're going to discuss uh, a new concept okay so till now we have already discussed uh, the ES6 features and uh, one thing I want to tell you is till now what we discuss is the functional oriented programming uh, now for the next coming of two three videos we're going to discuss uh, object oriented programming okay so what is object oriented programming is uh, generally object oriented programming so the programming concept is based on the objects uh, generally what is object object means uh, any real world thing is an object right uh, let's take a camera is an object and laptop is an object uh, a student is an object uh, like anything any any real world thing is an object right so what is this object oriented programming is uh, in the real world how the objects are getting constructed or manufactured the same way we are gonna construct the objects in a program so that's called object oriented programming and we have a lot of rules uh, in this object oriented programming so in this the very first concept what we are going to discuss is the class here so in this video we are going to discuss the class concept so what is class so class is actually a blueprint of an object just imagine how an object is constructed in real world so first an object um, to construct an object they are going to take a blueprint of it right it means uh, they just take a de design of it and once the design is finished and then uh, they'll take it as a uh, the actual implementation and the physical uh, uh, object is getting produced the same way uh, we have to write a program and you have to uh, generate the objects based on a certain design so that design is nothing but a class so this is like a, a blueprint of an object the design part of an object and before creation of objects so this design will specify what are the things can be done with an object and what are the properties will an object can contains uh, an object can contains like multiple properties like let's take a camera which contains the color its price and uh, its, its zoom uh, uh, megapixels and all right and what a camera can do a camera can take photos and uh, videos and all this same like that every object uh, how it's get constructed the same way we have to write a program so in this example we can see how to write a class and how to create an object using the class based structure in javascript so class is a very common scenario and there's a common keyword which is there for every object oriented programming language and even in javascript classes are allowed from es6 version so let's see what exactly the class and how the class looks like in javascript and how to create an object using javascript classes in this video see here uh, so first of all uh, i just copy the first folder i'll paste it i just change this to uh, 28 underscore es no, js classes okay fine i delete this um let me modify something here this is classes and this is classes okay uh about js yeah fine uh, let me open this in a browser yeah uh, open this console okay fine uh now uh, let me recap uh, how an object is getting constructed in a functional oriented programming in functional oriented programming how an object is going to constructed is just we're going to write like this right let's let's mobile uh, is equal to as an object uh, if you want to specify a properties you're going to specify like brand apple and uh, price around some 35,000 and uh, color silver so we're gonna construct an object like this and uh, we can just print an object so this object contains this data okay looks good this is how we actually construct an object in a functional oriented programming but the problem is see here we can delete any property we can even add a new property for an object 
it means in this approach there is a small drawback here what is that is once an object is constructed we can add a new property to an object and you can even remove the existing uh, property from an object we have also seen the curd operations uh, in a javascript objects concept but generally just thing realistic if one object is produced uh, we we are we are not supposed to remove a property from an object right we can't take out the color from the camera correct so once an object is created the properties are fixed so you may change the properties value but you may not remove the property from an object okay so there are some restrictions and some rules are existed for an object same restrictions and same rules can also possible with a class so let's see how to create an object with a class let me come in this um here i just create a class mobile and always remember when you write a class so class name must start with an uppercase okay uh, it it contains a multiple number of lines and don't worry about the number of lines i'm going to explain uh, uh, each and every uh, thing what we are doing here so this is actually a class so we have a class keyword and the name of uh, the class so class is nothing but a design or blueprint okay uh, fine uh, so this class contains a special function called constructor so you will write a constructor in this way okay this is called as a constructor so what actually a constructor does so this constructor is responsible to initialize your object see here previously we going to assign the values directly right but here we are not going to assign the value directly but this function is responsible to catch hold of the parameters what you are passing and assign to the the local parameters of i mean the local properties of a mobile object so we'll see uh, uh, just be with me and uh, you'll understand in the last uh, how it happens and all uh, constructor is a function uh, we call actually this method in uh, object oriented programming uh, which takes some set of parameters like um, brand and um, price and then color okay so three parameters i have taken and i just say this dot brand is equal to the brand and this dot price is equal to price and this dot color is equal to color okay fine and uh, here in existing function oriented if you want to access a particular property of an object we can directly say mobile dot brand but here we are not supposed to access them directly we have a special functions called getters and setters getters is actually a method okay in function oriented we call as function in class oriented we call them as method so getters and setters as methods okay so getters is to get the value i mean get the property of an class and setter is to set the, to change its value of a, uh, a property of a class okay so here i say get uh, i want to get that the brand so just say get brand so this dot um brand okay so you just say return this dot brand okay so get uh, price so here return this dot price next get color See, we are not writing any function keyword because it is a method. Uh, so return this dot get color. Okay, looks good. Uh, fine. Uh, now what I do? Sorry, sorry. This dot color right. Uh, fine. Next, uh, I just want to create another method which we can call all these things uh, together. Okay, so let's say. Uh, um, print specification okay it's it's another method so what it does is it say uh, it just prepares a specification of the the whole mobile uh, so what is the specification is the brand so i'm going to access um, this dot get brand and the uh, price so the say dollar 
this dots gets price and color so you will just say this dots gets color okay and finally i'll just say console dot log of spec okay fine uh, see if you observe closely this class is just a design as i said this is just a design so which doesn't have any initialization see apple 35000 silver is nowhere we written in this okay so this is a just a design and now we are going to create an object based on the design so how you create an object is like this let mobile is equal to new using a new keyword mobile and here uh, if you say new mobile if you say new class uh, it is going to call a function call a constructor okay so this expecting a three parameters called brand price and color so you're going to pass them here so let's say apple price uh, 35000 and the color um, silver okay so this how you're going to create an object using a class oriented next uh, i want to print the specification i want to just execute this particular method so how to execute this is this actually called as the instance method means uh, an object specific method so you're going to access this using the respective object so you can just say mobile dot printer specification so whenever you say mobile dot print specification you're going to get the complete specification of the mobile okay so this is how actually you can create a an object using class oriented but let's understand the flow of execution here first of all the the flow of execution starts from this line okay it is just a structure nothing else will happen if you if you don't write uh, any code here nothing is going to execute okay it is just uh, a design so the execution starts from this line okay so let mobile is equal to new mobile apple 35000 and silver so so whenever you say new mobile of this one it automatically go and call a special function or method called constructor even if you want to know that just press the control button and keep a cursor so it's showing the constructor function has gone over there okay so whatever the values we have provided all these values will be taken through this parameters and is going to assign the local uh, properties of the class call brand price and color the local properties uh, over here fine next if these are assigned and now this one this one this one having actual values and how to access them is using this function so get brand so this dot brand so the brand already assigned with a value called apple and you want to access the brand you just call this method so that that will give you the brand you want to access the price this method you want to access the color this method fine and then what this is uh, instead of calling individual uh, method by myself i have made a separate uh, method here inside i'm doing individual method calling so that i need to get the value and display here so when i say mobile dot print specification so this is internally calling get brand to get the brand of the mobile and then you get the output like this so this is actually a getting a properties of an object now sir i want to change it i want to change the price to be 45000 and what to do um what to do is you need to write the setter functions these are all just get see they all get so retry the data you want to update the data you have a setter methods what is that is it's like this set brand so here you just get the brand and you're going to assign that to local brand is equal to brand like this and let's say set price you want to set the price so the price you're going to take in so this dot price uh, sorry this dot price is equal to the given price and finally color uh, set color so you need to pass the color so it just does this dot color is equal to 
the color so how you are assigning in a uh, constructor the same way we are doing in a individual function okay fine uh, now i want to change the price so what you do is so mobile dot set price so what is the price you're gonna set to a mobile so i just make it 45,000. okay i want to see this data so what you do you just say mobile dot uh, print specification again so now what happens see it was 35,000 it's changed to 45,000 okay so this how you're gonna change the values of an object I mean the properties of an object okay so this is the complete story about a class so and one more time class is just as uh, just a design it's just a blueprint to which contains a special function or method called constructor so which is responsible to initialize the values which you have assigned to a I mean which you have given to create an object okay this is the special function called constructor and also it contains a getters and setters to access and change the values of the properties of a class or object and also you may have some instance methods the object specific methods to fetch data or to do some uh, any other operations or any type of processing logic okay and you're gonna create an object using this keyword called new mobile and whenever you say new mobile it's gonna call directly the concept okay so this is a concept called class so the class base you can create an object in this way but in this process you cannot uh, change I mean you can you may change the properties value but you can't add a new property see there is no way uh, I mean there is no option to create a new property here we can only access and we can only change but we can't delete a property we can't even um add a new property so that thing is not available because that's a that's a real uh, world object uh, the same scenario which applicable for class also the class object on programming okay fine so that's it thank you so much for watching in this video and next video we'll see the inheritance concept so what is inheritance is a class which contains a subclass okay so that concept we're gonna see in the next video thank you